Hi, I'm Jono Jones from Blue Lab, Chief Product and Innovation Officer, and today we're at Scott Pilcher's beautiful passion fruit farm in Tauranga, New Zealand. When we first met Scott, he was growing tomatoes in NFT indoors in his greenhouse. And he was at a bit of a transition point in his life. He was reaching, like his infrastructure was reaching end of life. And he was really kind of faced with a decision. Do you continue with that lifestyle, which is probably kind of overburdening where he really kind of wanted to be? Or does he change? Does he go down a different route? And I remember the day when Scott gave me a call and he'd been and visited another grower and he was pretty excited because he made that really big decision to switch crop, change the greenhouse and start growing passion fruit indoors. He'd been growing for 20 years so he really had that deep passion in growing. He wanted to get back to the lifestyle that he had when he first imagined started to grow. So he went on this journey to automate everything, automate as much as he possibly could, reduce his labour intensivity and then really get it down to an operation where it could just be him and his partner working in the farm and while enjoying this, this beautiful lifestyle that he could have in New Zealand. I would say that you'd be nuts not to use the technology that's out there, the, the Pro Controller. You just put in your set points and it'll just take care of the rest. Why would you want the worry of, you know, or pay for the privilege really? Um, I think you'd be better off to have it in your own property and do it yourself because, yeah, it's great automation. So within Scott's farm, he's running Blue Lab automation equipment. The Brains is the Blue Lab Pro Controller and then the doser is the Peripod L3. He has a Guardian as well, which is acting as a backup secondary measurement monitoring pH and EC. Pro Controller is where the set points for the EC and the pH are set. Peripod doser is then dosing that into the reservoir. He's also using the new sample tube, which is a safe place for his pH probes and his EC probes, easy to maintain, easy to remove for care and calibration. Obviously the Pro Controller is the bread and butter, but I love Connect just for when I'm away and I, I'm always just, oh, you know, checking in and for me it's really important. I know it's probably all I've ever known to use this equipment, but when I've seen other growers and it can be a bit of a guessing game as to how much fertiliser, I mean, you know, they have their tests and analysis and they can predict how much a plant needs, but I just feel I can fine tune plants and what they need a lot better and with this system. When we reflect back on, you know, where Scott's come from, like he was on a seven day operation, it was energy intensive. He wasn't really kind of loving what his real passion was. And now he's in this absolutely amazing position. He's got a beautiful crop. He's working less hours in peak season. Both of them are helping out, but he still has the opportunities to get away on the boat, head off to the beach and have the lifestyle he's want, knowing that he's got this high quality, abundant crop being grown all day long. Seeing Scott go on this, this journey, I'm just so impressed that, you know, you can take someone who is driven by this amazing passion, may not necessarily have that technical background, but can trust the technology to create these incredible commercial outcomes, growing like really novel, innovative crops in controlled environment agriculture. And if, you know, Scott, one of the things he always says to me is, if he can do it, then you can do it.